Looking for the green. Now to four. It's waving. We're racing. Night number two of the Power Eye Illinois Speed Week. Out to the early advantage. Caden Brown holding steady. Has the lead down the back straight away as Wiedemann going to go to position number two. Carter Sarf up to third. Everybody trying to get through the first lap as it's Caden Brown, your lap number one leader. Problems down the back straight away. It's car number 44 of Brannigan Rourke. It appears, I believe that is the 44 of Brannigan Rourke sitting up on the high side. Looking for the green out of four. One lap down, 29 to go. Back to green flag racing here at Fayette County Speedway. Another good start by our leader, Caden Brown, with the early advantage. Brian Wiedemann winning a good run down the back straight away now as Carter Sarf holding steady in third. Jace Park, Chase McDermott, Gavin Miller up on the high side of Taylor Reimer. Reimer as the man on the move is Cannon McIntosh. Where did McIntosh come from as he's already up to eight? Started tail in Charlie, running eighth with the 08 of Cannon McIntosh up on the high side of car number five of Gavin Bochelle. Bochelle running ninth as Gavin Miller in car number 71M rounds out our top 10. Up. Here comes McIntosh down the back straightaway, gonna go for two for one into turns number three and four. McIntosh now all the way up to sixth place. It's Brown, Wiedemann, Starf, McDermott, Park, and McIntosh now as, oh, problems, couple cars getting together, no hard, no foul, four wide, off of four. Exactly what McIntosh needed to see as Cannon McIntosh gonna do a little slide job crossover action with the 40 and Chase McDermott. Side. McIntosh gonna get a good run down the back straightaway, look to the inside, slide job for the runner up spot. Cannon McIntosh up to runner up. Going into turns number one and two, McIntosh gonna try to follow the tire tracks of the 01 of Ryan Wiedemann down the back straightaway. Wiedemann, McIntosh, Brown, Sarf, Park, your top five. Wiedemann, your leader, McIntosh sitting second. Lap traffic all in front of our leader, of Ryan Wiedemann. It's the 15 of Ferno. Driver's gonna go to the low line. Cannon McIntosh gonna find momentum and slide jump across the back over. Losing a lot of speed as he's gonna scrub some speed down the back straight away. Oh, no, Brian Wiedemann up into the wall on the exit of four. That's gonna open up the door for Cannon McIntosh to slide jump him, but Wiedemann crossed him back over down the back straight away. Down into charge number three and four. Cannon McIntosh again going to the low line as it's going to be 28 laps down, two more times around. Wiedemann has the lead down the back straightaway. Lap traffic all in the way. Goes up to the high line as Cannon McIntosh going to follow suit. White flag in the air one more time around. Does McIntosh have anything for the 01 of Brian Wiedemann down the back straightaway as caution coming out onto the racetrack. Pounding up here in the booth, looking for the green out of four. Wiedemann gonna start him early this time. McIntosh a little bit late on the go pedal as we go into turns number one and two. As down the back straightaway and into turns number three and four. McIntosh gonna gain a white flag in the air. Carter Sarf up on the high side. Problems for the shark as he's gonna come down the front straightaway. Underpowered the 21 of Carter Sarf. Meanwhile, we're still racing through turns number three and four. Slide job, crossed and back over. It's Wiedemann at the line. Cannon McIntosh went for the low line. Wiedemann crossed him back over. Got it at the line in a nail biter. The 01. Brian Wiedemann picking up his first feature win of 2022.